Hey everyone, Sleepy Reader here. Uh, just wanted to review three comic books. Uh, Age of Ultron, Point One, World's Finest with Huntress and Power Girl, and Earth Two. And let me start with, uh, with the Avengers Age of Ultron, Point One. This is obviously just a prelude to something that's going to come a few months from now. Um, but it was excellent, and this was a free comic book from Free Comic Book Day. The only one I saw that was a uh, full 30-page story, no ads, a full story beginning, middle, and end, uh, and prime artwork from Brian Hitch. Uh, I think the artwork just, just swept me away, actually. I, I really love this comic book because of the artwork. Um, so if Brian Hitch is going to be doing the Age of Ultron, uh, main story. I will be picking that up right when it comes out. Normally with the Avengers I wait and see whether I want want to get them uh, when the trades come out uh, because Brian Michael Bendis' work is kind of hit or miss for me and I just wait and see whether I'm going to want to do that. Uh, but if this is what Age of Ultron is going to be like I'm picking it up as fast as I can. Uh, basically, this is, well, I don't want to give away too much of the plot, uh, but basically this is a setup for the return of Ultron, and um, it's just wonderfully well-paced. As I said, the art is fantastic, and we get, you know, the appearance of a whole bunch of villains like MODOK and uh, Space Phantom, no, the Red... What's his name? You never actually say his name. Well, anyway, the wizard and the thinker and MODOK and that space guy with his uh, intelligent monkeys. And, uh, and then uh, we get an appearance by Ultron foreshadowing future problems with Ultron. And they're kind of right at the end, they kind of fudged it. Uh, it seemed kind of fake when they, to set up this as a prelude. Uh, but let's... Not, we can't do anything about Ultron right now, so we go back to our regularly scheduled comic books, and Ultron will appear later. But other than that quibble, it was a great read, and uh, I'm excited for Age of Ultron, which I didn't, expe I didn't expect that at all. Um, now with Earth 2, I think I was expecting to be a little more blown away than I was uh, because of the good reviews that I've already seen of it. Uh, I half like the artwork half found it kind of too busy and a little hard to look at, um, sort of in the large picture. As I would look closer at the artwork, I would, I would really appreciate it, but there was something kind of, oh, that's the ad on one side, there was something kind of uh, busy and a little hard to, uh, to parse everything right away. The story was good, James Robinson's doing good work here. Um, the only thing I can say is that uh, this story is just a setup, and it doesn't even, you're not even clear what kind of stories we're being set up for. This story is just a setup. Um, it's fairly complete in this issue, but it's just a setup, um, clearing the path, so to speak, for, for what's to come in Earth 2. Uh, sort of, I think it, it gives them a, a way to, in continuity, uh, reboot Earth 2 and and start fresh uh, creating new superheroes. Uh, well, recreating old superheroes from the Golden Age in a new context. So it could be a lot of fun, and I have, have quite a bit of confidence in James Robinson, the writer. But it's hard to tell. There, there's no clue here, really, what direction, what kind of book this is going to be as, as time goes on. I'm kind of hoping a big panoramic book that that skips around to different heroes and stuff and gives us uh, a picture of life on Earth 2 with the new superheroes um, throughout. But we'll have to see. Uh, so that all, all of those things that I've tried to uh, convey uh, lessened its impact a little bit because it's just sort of, okay, this is a opening salvo, but it's not. It's a prelude, and we can't, we can't yet tell if the bigger story is, is going to be worthwhile or not. But then, I really loved, much to my surprise, uh, Huntress Power Girl, World's Finest. I didn't. I came into this with no expectations. I really don't know anything about Huntress and Power Girl and their previous incarnations. 
don't know a lot about Earth Two um, as they are as they are characters from Earth Two who've taken on new identities on our Earth. So one is uh, the Robin of Earth Two becoming Huntress, and the other is Supergirl of Earth Two becoming Power Girl on our planet. Um, and there was a little bit of an there was an opening sequence that I didn't fully understand until I reread it, but once I got past the first four pages, I, the story was really good. Um, and the artwork by George Perez and the inker Scott Kolbish uh, was really clear and uh, fun and felt pretty innovative to me just without, without doing anything really fancy. It just seemed uh, to be really uh, artwork at, at a kind of superhero peak. So this was just a really good, solid superhero comic book. The writing was good. The, the relationship between the two main characters is, is really drawn well, or uh, written well, really written well. The, the, the writer has drawn out characters that uh, you can relate to. They just they have a great relationship. Um, so I highly recommend picking up Huntress Power Girl even if you're like me and have little background in these characters or Earth 2, uh, once, once you get used to, once you get over just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of lack of information about them, uh, it, then it, it becomes a really good comic book. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the next issue. So hopefully this creative team will stay together. Paul Levitz, uh, George Perez, and Scott Colbish. Um, really nice work. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm realizing it's a lot harder to do a review while staring at your own image on the computer uh, than I thought it would be. Uh, a lot of clever things I thought I had to say in my head that uh, were hard to come out. So shows me uh, how good people like Ghost, Ghost Critic and um, Howler Mouse and some other people are with their reviews. So till next time. This is Sleepy Reader. Damien, talk to you later.